We have an Azure Virtual Machine. From Azure Security Center, we receive the following high severity recommendation. Install endpoint protection solutions on the virtual machine. What should we do to resolve the issue causing the high severity recommendation? A. Add the Microsoft Antimalware extension to virtual machine. B. Install Microsoft System Center Security Management Pack for endpoint protection on virtual machine. C. Add the Network Watcher Agent for Windows extension to virtual machine. D. Onboard virtual machine to Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. Adding Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection provides a comprehensive threat management solution integrated with other security services. This would address the need for advanced protection features necessary for full security coverage on virtual machine. Other options like installing specific extensions or tools may cover some aspects, but lack the breadth needed for high severity recommendations, which likely require a broader threat management approach. We have an Azure subscription that contains several Azure SQL databases and an Azure Sentinel workspace. We need to create a saved query in the workspace to find events reported by advanced threat protection for the Azure SQL database. What should we do? A. From Azure CL, I run the get as operational insights workspace command. B. From the Azure SQL database query editor, create a transact SQL query. C. From the Azure Sentinel workspace, create a custo query language query. D. From Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, create a transact SQL query. OK. Now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. To create a saved query in the Azure Sentinels workspace, to find events reported by advanced threat protection for an Azure SQL database, the best approach is create a Custo Query Language query. Custo Query Language is specifically designed for Sentinels and can directly handle queries without sending results back out. This makes it ideal for creating event sourcing queries that trigger alerts or feed into the cloud function required by Sentinels. We have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure SQL database. We plan to audit this database. To configure the audit log destination, the solution must meet several requirements. Custo query language, support for querying event. Minimize administrative effort. What should we configure? A, an event hub. B, a storage account. C, a log analytics workspace. OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think and then continue when you are ready. To effectively audit the Azure SQL database while leveraging custodious query for event querying and minimizing administrative effort, the optimal configuration is a log analytics workspace. Our Azure subscription includes 100 virtual machines that have Azure Diagnostics enabled. We have been tasked with retrieving the identity of the user that removed a virtual machine 15 days ago. We have already accessed Azure Monitor. Which of the following options should we use? A. Application Log B. Metrics C. Activity log d logs dial
Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. To retrieve the identity of the user who removed a virtual machine, you should use the activity log in Azure Monitor. The activity log provides records of operations performed on resources in your Azure subscription, including who performed the action, what action was taken, and when it occurred. We have a hybrid Azure Active Directory configuration consisting of users who run Windows 10 and are integrated with Azure Active Directory. Our SQL database requires connecting via Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and authenticating using our on-premises Active Directory account. To clarify, we need to inform the developers which authentication method to use and this process may require further explanation. Which authentication method should be specified for connection? A. SQL Login B. Active Directory Universal with multi-factor authentication support C. Active Directory Integrated D. Active Directory Password OK. Now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The optimal solution for minimizing authentication prompts while respecting Active Directory accounts involves using Active Directory integrated with multi-factor authentication support. This approach leverages existing security features, reducing the need for extra steps and ensuring secure access without requiring additional password entries. Our network includes an on-premises Active Directory domain, which is synchronized with Azure Active Directory. Azure Active Directory Connect is installed on a domain member server. We need to ensure that a domain administrator for the domain can modify synchronization options while adhering to the principle of least privilege, which Azure Active Directory role should we assign to the domain administrator? A. Security Administrator B. Global Administrator C. User Administrator OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. To ensure that a domain administrator for the adatum.com domain can modify synchronization options in Azure Active Directory Connect, the correct role is the global administrator role in Azure Active Directory. We manage an Azure Container Registry. We have been tasked with assigning a user a role that allows image uploads to the Azure Container Registry while ensuring the role has only the required privileges. Which of the following roles should we assign? A. Owner B. Contributor C. ER Push D. A. C. R. Pull OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The most appropriate role to assign for uploading images directly to Azure Container Registry is a CR push. This allows users to upload files without requiring additional permissions beyond basic file handling capabilities. We manage an Azure subscription that includes a user and an Azure container registry. We have enabled content trust for registry and need to ensure that the user can create trusted images while following the principle of least privilege. Which two roles should we assign to the user? A. A quarantine reader. B. Contributor. C. 
A sheet or push. D. Acrame designer. E. A. Acrantini writer. Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. To ensure a user can only create trusted images in registry using least privilege, assign these two. We are working with an active directory forest containing a single domain named waylandindustries.com. We also manage an Azure Active Directory tenant with the same name. We have been tasked with integrating Active Directory and the Azure Active Directory tenant, and we plan to deploy Azure Active Directory Connect. Our integration strategy must ensure that password policies and user logon limitations affect user accounts since to Azure Active Directory while reducing the number of required servers. Solution. We recommend using pass-through authentication and seamless single sign on with password hash synchronization. Does this solution meet the goal? Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The given solution uses pass-through authentication with Azure Active Directory Connect, which ensures that Active Directory accounts can sync to Azure Active Directory tenants automatically. This includes seamless single sign on allowing users on one directory to access the other effortlessly without manual setup. Password policies are managed internally via single sign on reducing the number of required passwords. User logins are handled synchronously across directories, further streamlining the process and minimizing server requirements. We have 10 virtual machines on a single subnet with a single network security group. We need to log the network traffic to an Azure storage account. What should we do? A. Install the Network Performance Monitor Solution. B. Create an Azure Log Analytics Workspace. C. Enable Diagnostic Logging for the Network Security Group. D. Enable Network Security Group Flow Log. Okay, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. D. Enable N. A. G. Flow Logs. Not forget to like and subscribe.